Hello, in this video we're going to derive the firm's short run cost from a production function with two variable inputs. So here's our production function. Q, the quantity of output, is a function of units of capital, units of labor, and M, raw materials. We're going to let capital equal 8. The price of capital, R, is $1. Price of labor, W, is $2. Price of materials or raw materials is $4. First thing I'll do is for K, I'll plug in 8. So here is our short run production function, and it has two variable inputs, labor and raw materials. From here, we want to derive the firm's short run total cost function. First step is to get the marginal product of labor. I'll take the partial derivative of the production function with respect to L, and we'll get this result right here. The 1 fourth comes from the exponent on the L term, just bringing that down in front. And we get the marginal product of materials as a partial derivative of the production function with respect to M. As before, this exponent on M comes down in front, so that's where the 1 fourth is coming from. And then M now will be raised to the minus 3 fourths power because we take 1 fourth and subtract 1 from it to get our partial derivative. When the firm is minimizing its cost of production for a given level of output, this condition must hold. The marginal product per dollar of labor will equal the marginal product per dollar spent on materials. So what I'm going to do now is make a substitution for the marginal product of labor, marginal product of materials. I'll also plug in the wage and price of raw materials. So doing that, we get this expression here. We'll note here that the 1 fourth and 1 fourth will cancel on each side, as well as the 8 raised to the 1 fourth power will cancel on each side. This simplifies down to this. Following the rules of exponents, moving this L to the minus 3 fourths down into the denominator, we get this. Moving M to the minus 3 fourths down into the denominator, we get this. And now I'm just going to do some... Uh, multiplying here, so uh, cross multiplying this L to the 3 fourths to this L to the 1 fourth, we'll get L. Cross multiplying this M to the 3 fourths times M to the 1 fourth, we'll just get M. And then I'll also multiply through by 4, so we'll get 4 divided by 2 on the left hand side. So with all that said, this will simplify down very nicely to L equals 2M. What I'm going to do here with this L equals 2M is I'm going to plug it into the production function, this production right here, where I see an L, I'm going to plug in 2M. So we have this result after the substitution. Rewriting that result, and now just collecting some terms here. Uh, 8 times 2 now is just raised to the 1 fourth power because we got this 2 raised to the 1 fourth. So just move those two values together. And m to the 1 fourth times m to the 1 fourth. This will simplify down to the following. Just adding up the exponents on the m terms. And now I'm going to just square both sides. So we'll get q squared. 8 times 2 now raised to the 1 half power because we're this is being squared, so it's 2 times 1 fourth or 1 half, so the square root of 16 is 4. <clears throat> and then m to the 1 half power now squared is just m. Solving this result for m, we get q squared divided by 4. The next step here is I'm going to take that production function, and where I have m in it, I'm now going to replace m with q squared divided by 4. So I'm making a substitution back into our production function. This used to be m to the 1 fourth. Now I'm replacing it with q squared divided by 4. And now we're going to simplify this. So q squared raised to the 1 fourth power is just q to the 1 half, multiplying 2 times 1 fourth, and then taking this uh, 4 here in the denominator, which is raised to the 1 fourth, and moving it over here under the value 8. Dividing everything through by q to the 1 half, we'll just get q to the 1 half on the left hand side. 
and now I'm going to raise both sides to the fourth power. I want to get rid of L to the one fourth, so I'm going to raise both sides to the fourth power. So doing that, Q to the one half raised to the fourth power is Q squared. 8 divided by 4, or 2, raised to the 1 fourth power, also raised to the fourth power, will just be 2. And then L to the 1 fourth raised to the fourth power is just L. Solving for L, we get Q squared divided by 2. So the firm's cost function, then, is going to be the wage times L plus price of materials times materials plus the price of capital times units of capital. So let's just make our substitutions now into this equation. W is 2. What is L? L is Q squared divided by 2. The price of materials we said was $4. What is M? M is Q squared divided by 4. And R is 1 and K is 8, so that just simplifies to 8. Uh, simplifying this further, here is our short run total cost equation, 2 times q squared plus 8. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.